This is a 300 millimeter Voron Trident kit from Formbot delivered straight from a US warehouse. The clear acrylic doors and sides are fine. The back panels are also fine. Okay, for the big reveal, it is literally the bomb in a box, loosely. Starting with a couple pieces of PTFE tube, some generic foam tape, VHB, linear rails. These are their house Vividino brand. They, you know, are fine. Just need to clean them and uh, lubricate them before you use them. Wiring, as well as Wagos and a few other little electrical connectors. Cable sleeving. Enough. Miscellaneous hardware. And what is this? This is a loose PCB just floating around in the box. Is there anything else floating around in the box? No, but there's our hardware. A uh, 16 gig SD card. And more things floating in the box. This is an Ethernet keystone jack. And the PCB is an XY end stop. And there's foam for a filter. I did just give this an extra look because it was floating loose in the box. Zip ties. And drag chains. Three of them of the three hole variety. Just generic cable chains. Ah, the bonus gift. Injection molded plastic parts that I don't need. It's the uh, vent cover as well as a spool holder and a mount for the display. Got like the pulleys for the motion system. I believe they're just generic as well as a, a pin. The proximity sensor and bearings and idlers feet fans <laughs> generic fans this is uh, the heater and the thermistor and the safety fuse for the, uh, the bed as well as the metal mounting plate for the uh, SSR First BTT box has our stepper motor drivers as well as heat sinks for them. Yeah. This is second BTT box. Give me that duck. This is the display. The display does have kind of built-in encoder knob. This is our five volt mean well power supply. Appears to be authentic. And this is our 24 volt mean well power supply. Again, appears to check out and be authentic. We've got our gates belts for our XY motion and our BTT octopus control board. Give me that duck. Yeah. Oh, hey, look, more little parts floating around. I think it's a Bowden Collet. And now we've got our three Z motors with their attached lead screws. Got one power cable. 
And our last couple of linear rails, I believe these were the Y axis rails. They were just hiding out up there. All right. We've got a heater. It's again branded with the Vividino, which is a Formbot house brand. The attached heater wire and thermistor. A uh, textured PEI build sheet with a magnetic stick on. And a decent looking, you know, thick, well built aluminum build plate. It says it's flat. We'll take their word for it. All right, time for the final layer. First, this, uh, these motor schematics are like the full extent of the documentation in this kit. Just know that. All right, uh, bearings. And a very, very sketchy looking generic hot end. Not gonna mess with that. The power outlet, power switch, and fuses. Our extruder motor, it's a moons. Our uh, XY axis motors. are the extruder parts generic and our SSR which is an authentic Omron so cool finally we've got our extrusions these are black anodized the ends are anodized they're fine they seem straight enough the holes are where they say they're supposed to be um, It appears fine. I'm just going to put these back. Also in here um, are two gold DIN rails. So let's box this thing back up. I should note that uh, I put this thing back together with more care than they initially put into it. Um, yeah, it really is as if you sent someone to a market with the bomb and we're like buy this stuff just throw it in a box it's cool and uh that's what they did so that is the form bot kit for better or worse i just i uh, hope this was helpful um so you guys kind of know what to expect if anyone out there is considering this kit also there's your free gift